What type of home ownership do you have? Are you a renter or a homeowner? A uh, homeowner. Homeowner. And what type of structure? Can you describe it for us? Is it a house by itself, single family detached, or are you in a duplex? Or what kind of, is it a condo? Uh, it's a two-story. Two-story, just by standalone by, by, house? By itself, yes. By itself, all right. Can you describe it further? How many bedrooms? What kind of roof do you have? Uh, it is one, two, three, four, five bedrooms. Mm -hmm. um, shingle roof. Okay. Um, very structured brick. Brick house. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. And what is the approximate date of your move-in? Like, when uh, did you start living there? Oh, uh, we moved in in 2004. Okay, 2004. So have you always lived here in Cook County? Yes. Okay. And tell me how your family ended up here. Um, my family has been here forever. Okay. Uh, my grandmother's side family lives in Moultrie, mm -hmm. but my, my mother's family, and, um, um, yeah, my mother's family has been here in Cook County forever, so we really... Uh, South Georgia people. Okay, so. and you're born and raised here? Yes. Oh. I'm born in Tipton, but I've um, been raised here. In Cook County? In Cook County. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right, that's very interesting. I'm actually from the Philippines. <laughs> I moved to America in 2015. I met my husband. He lives in Tipton, so now I live in Tipton. Okay. Yes. Right. Brick house also. Okay. Okay. But unlike you, I'm a renter. We're renting to own. Okay. So hopefully <laughs> that um, changes in that's a few it. months. That's right. <laughs> All right. So now um, I would like to ask you, have you ever invested in solar, either in the roof of your home, on your property, part of your business, or any facility? Uh, yes, my wife and I, we have talked about it, and uh, we were looking into um, seeing what would need to be done to invest in solar power, because solar power does a lot of good things for us, um, energy efficiency. Um, so I think that would be a really good place to go down in your electric bill. Mm -hmm. um, having more reserve energy from the sun compared to just running consistent electricity, mm -hmm. I think it would be a good thing. But yes, we have, that's your question, we have been talking about you know, okay. trying to see what we need to do to, to be more solar friendly. All right. And have you ever looked at, you know, installation and all that? Have, are you already in that process or not yet? Um, not yet, but um, when we decide how to go about doing that, mm -hmm. yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll definitely check into that. All right. So, you so right now you don't have solar. No, no, mm -hmm. no, no, no. But you're looking into it. Oh, hey, sounds good. And so now that you you don't have solar, rooftop solar at the moment, did you make that decision or was that made for you? Uh, it was the decision that we agreed on. Um, mm -hmm. She met someone that has solar panels on their property. Yeah. And how something with, they get paid to gather all that energy, something like mm -hmm. that. I can't remember how it was because she knows the person better than I do. Yeah. But that really sparked my interest in it. And uh, we talked about it. And uh, we both are very interested in learning more about mm -hmm. solar panels and being more solar efficient. Okay. But right now, the, the roof that you have right now, the one that's not solar, yes. did you make that decision? Uh, yes. Okay. Yes. Right now, it's, it's um, just regular shingle roof. Mm -hmm. But um, like I said, we're very interest, interested very in interesting. looking into to seeing solar. how to be in solar. Yes. All right. So, like you said, you're very interested. So, I guess the answer to this question, if it was available, would you want solar? If it was available, uh, yeah. All right. Absolutely. Until... Can you tell me more, like, why you would want it if it was available? Um, I would, you know, like it because it's more, cost, it'd be cost-friendly. Mm -hmm. um, of course, you know, going down on electric bill would be really good. And number two, it's a good thing mm -hmm. to, um, to go solar. You're not burning, you're not burning as much lights. Um, you're not burning as much electricity. Um, like I said, I mean, cost-effective is really a major thing with a lot of people. Yeah. Um, um, but I think a lot of people, all people need to be educated on solar because it's not... It's not as complex as it sounds. We just need to take the time to study, analyze oh, oh, how it operates. Okay. Um, so I think that you know, if people just get involved in it, it could be a good thing. You know. Mm -hmm. So now I have here the map of the United States of America, and with your pen, I would like for you to draw on the map where do you think the most number of people live that actually invest in solar energy. Okay. Mm -hmm. Texas. Okay. Let's go with uh, Oklahoma. Let's go with, uh, let's go with Kansas. 
this across it. Let's see. I'm not too sure about Florida. Mm -hmm. um, Montana. I'm not too sure about Utah. Maybe Idaho. Well, you know your states. <laughs> <laughs> Those different states that you um, put a check mark on where you think people adopt or invest in the most solar, what makes those communities so different from the people in Cook County? Um, well, possibly, uh, especially when you're talking into maybe Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas, and Nebraska, where there are, there are a lot of plain areas in those three states from, from um, Oklahoma, Kansas, and Nebraska, and a lot mm -hmm. of plain areas. So they have a lot of land to put solar panels on. Um, and uh, maybe Montana the same way because they're just a lot of massive land. Mm -hmm. um, of course, every state has its cities and its towns. Yeah. But um, I think with, uh, in, in the central part of the U.S., I think they're a little more, well, not a little more, but they were the first ones to, to kind of really start that in a mm -hmm. sense. Um, I saw on some TV shows and some commercials with people in that area have lots of land with solar panel on their land um, so um, um, being cost effective being efficient saving energy and use it for something else um, which I think around here it's just not something that people have heard of mm -hmm. but something that people just have not really bought into completely so um, I just think that they're more open to it due to where they are located okay. um, and then here is something that we've heard about just never really took the time to do the proper research and analyze so let's talk about this other map over here, the map of the state of Georgia. Okay. Um, I want you to do the same thing with your pen. If you can draw where you think um, people invest most on solar. Okay. Mm, let's see here. Invest the most on solar. So, um, same question. What do you think makes the community so different from the people in Cook County? What kind of people live, live in these communities? Why you chose those places to have the most people invest in solar energy? Um, I think um, when you're close to the city, mm -hmm. you know, like Atlanta, you know, Athens area, Augusta, Savannah, yeah. Columbus, um, more populated areas, they have more resources. Mm -hmm. uh, everything everything's in cities. Um, and most things do start in cities, okay. such as you know franchises, businesses, sports teams, corporations. They mm -hmm. come to cities first, and then they kind of migrate themselves to towns. Um, but I probably do because of population is number one. Mm -hmm. Population is a key. A lot of things where businesses come to because you know you have a high population, then that means that means money. Yes. You know, so people will put their business somewhere where it's very highly populated at, um, um, such as Atlanta. Um, and you start going further down the interstate. Um, down here, I, like I said, it hasn't gotten there yet because mm -hmm. I think Valdosta is really, really growing. Uh, I think Valdosta probably have it in the future if they don't, if they don't even already have, mm -hmm. you know. But I think they're growing as well. But I think in cities, you know, they just have resources, they have the money, they have the, the space. And most people are familiar with cities first and then towns second. All right. Thank you. So you've talked about, like, the location and it being a city versus, you know, the other smaller counties or towns. Mm -hmm. What about the people? Who do you think invest? Like, what kind of jobs do they have? What kind of people invest most in solar energy? Uh, probably farmers. Okay. Uh, farmers, agriculture. Okay. Uh, possibly maybe a business owner, too. Maybe. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, but... Um, and then somebody who's just 
like to try something different. Mm-hmm. You know, those people as well. Okay. Um, but yeah, I would definitely think maybe um, farmer agriculture is a big thing down here in the south. Mm-hmm. Yeah, agriculture is a really big thing here. Um, wild farmers and everything like that. Um, um, businesses because you know they can the money that they have they yeah. can get a whole lot more. Mm-hmm. Um, but um, but yeah, I think um, more like farmers. You know, maybe some business people mm-hmm. um, and um, corporations that would that would like to invest something like that. Yeah. What about most of your close friends here in the state of Georgia? Do they have solar? Friends, family? No. Okay. No. you know anybody, just acquaintances that has solar? No, I don't. You don't? Mm. Okay. Why do you think they don't? Like I said earlier, probably just uh, either either two things. One, either the lack of education on it, mm-hmm. or, or B, they just they're interested in it. Mm-hmm. But, but mostly probably because they don't understand it. Yeah. I think they understand it. A little more, they probably interested in doing. But sometimes, you know, something people want to do, they yeah. just don't have the money to do it. That's true. So.